Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be just like some random, random favorites video. Um, not of not a November favorites, but it's just like an overall in general favorites that I wanted to just do a quickie on. Um, there has been some weird like interests of mine lately and I think it has to do with the fact that we just came out of a spooky season and in the spooky season I was watching a lot of like horror movies, <laughs> scary movies, that kind of thing and one of them I was watching was Alien. Now my husband and I, I told my husband I like I used to have a fear of aliens believe it or not a long time ago and I didn't I don't like E.T. I still haven't seen the full movie of E.T. I don't know it freaks me out um <laughs> and then Alien the movie Alien I, I only would see p bits and pieces but I never saw the whole thing so recently I actually saw the majority of the movie I was watching it with my hubs before I, I think it was like before I went to work I think it was actually Halloween day and I had told him you know I never really seen this whole movie I would see bits and pieces because, um, you know, it would be on or whatnot, but I never really sat down to see it because of that fear that I had of aliens. And it's a had because I used to be afraid of them. Now I love them. Um, and so I got on this alien kick, right? So I want to say it was like two months ago, I ordered the alien series, right? The books. And I bought, this one's the first one, Alien which is I'm actually reading it right now. Now that I saw the movie, it's like, oh, I want to read the book now. <laughs> so I'm reading the book. This is the second one, Aliens. And then this one is actually like, it takes place before, before this one, if that makes sense. So if you saw that the newest Alien movie, which is Alien Covenant, this is the, that book. So I want to read this one, but I actually want to read them like in order of the movies. So I want to read these two first. Um, I don't know where that thing came from, but anyways, Alien has been kind of like a thing on and off with me. Um, when I was buying the books, I ordered these off thrift books for like $2 each. It was really cheap. Um, I was also, I went to the last bookstore. My husband and I had an aura, like an aura reading. They, where you, they take a picture of your aura. It was really cool. Anyway, the place was downtown LA. And so I was like, hey, we're going to be in downtown LA. We never really go there because it's, you know, it's not that far, but it's like, I don't like city life. I think city life is stressful. <laughs> so if I don't have to drive over there, I won't. Um, but we were in downtown LA for the aura reading and which I actually have, let me get that for you. Cause so you guys can see it. It's really, really cool. It's all dusty too, sorry. So if I start sneezing. Um, so what they do is they, you sit down and they take a photo of you. That is my aura. This was taken, maybe it was like four months ago. Could have been earlier. I don't remember. I don't, I didn't put the date on this. I don't think it has a date on here either. Um, but anyways, you sit down and they take a picture of you and your aura. So you're sitting there for like a good 10 seconds, maybe more, because <laughs> it's a slow process. <coughs> and they take a picture of your aura. So mine came out and then they give you this little card that tells you what each of the colors mean. And the guy that takes the picture, it's him and his wife. And, um, the, he'll take the picture and then the wife, no, the wife will take the picture and, or he will read to you or one of them, <coughs> one of them or both of them. Sorry, I'm all coughing now because of the dust. Um, they will give you a reading on what your aura means. So this one, I have mainly magenta, as you could tell. Magenta is eccentric, nonconformist, free spirit, unique, innovator, strong-willed, center of attention. So, <laughs> Kind of makes sense, right? But he was like, up above, you have indigo. And indigo is honest, non-judgmental, believes in higher ideals, peaceful, spirituality gifted, spiritually gifted, creative, and a truth seeker. So I was like, yay! But if you look even like closer, 
it's magenta, purple, and then indigo. So there's layers to your aura, like they say, right? So lavender, I guess this was lavender. It says enchanting, imaginative, daydreamer, gentle, creative, intuitive, love to change directions, which is so me. And then like there's something about the direction, like if it's on your right or left side, as you could see on my, this would be my, my left side, I have white and orange. So white is crystal, gift reader, or la, 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 gifted healer, highly spiritual, gentle, quiet, sensitive, one with nature, adaptable, lives by intuition. And then the, um, I guess, I don't know if it's like tan or yellow or orange, but anyway, they're all there. And he had said something about if it's on one side of you, this is what you're entering into. So because it was like in my left side, it was like what I was entering into. And he was like, so you're entering into like being more intuitive, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, you know, I've been on my path, my spiritual path for about since 2012. Um, so, it's six, so it's about six years. I've been a reader for five years, but I have been feeling more intuitive, connected, like third eye, psychic, mediumship stuff. Guarantee if you were to snap my aura, and I don't have my, I don't know where my other one is. I had a, I have another one from another shop. Um, my aura used to be greens and yellows and green and yellow is like healer, organized, entrepreneurial, highly intelligent, driven, successful, perfectionist, empowers others. And yellow is energetic, fun, loving, loves animals, nature, joyful, childlike, curious, but it's also healer energy. When you think of green, it's healer. And so I had a lot of green and yellow in my aura. This is on another level. I have never seen my aura like this before. So when I saw it, I was so excited because it was like, you look at it and you see the indigos and the purple and the blues at the, at the very top. It's like, you're, I feel for me, it was like, oh, all of that hard work with trying to be, trying, <laughs> being psychic and, and being intuitive and like, you know, tapping into my mediumship, it's all coming out in my aura. So I love it. So anyways, if you could ever get an aura photo taken, usually at your metaphysical shops or like a healing um, a, a metaphysical fair or something like that. Usually they have that. You guys should do it. Anyways, so when we went there to get my aura taken, my husband did his too, but I don't want to show his picture. Um, when we got our auras taken, we went to the last bookstore in LA. It's a, it's a used bookstore in downtown LA and they had little, you know, pins and stuff. Anyways, long story short, I bought the alien pin. So it's like the little xenomorph, the little alien character. And it, I just think it's so funny how alien has been so prominent in my <laughs> in my spiritual path, not just the last few months with, with alien, but also the fact that my spirit guide, um, when, he approved, when he appeared to me in my meditation, this was like three or four years ago, three years ago, um he was alien like extraterrestrial just gave me that vibe and so alien has been a, a major part of my spiritual path as silly as it sounds it has been um and so I think that that kind of correlates with why I was so fearful of aliens as a little girl was because I think I've had fucking experiences with them I have seen a UFO I've had like UFO experiences it, it's it runs in the family of having UFO experiences I wouldn't be surprised if I was one of those like weird abducted children <laughs> maybe that's why I had a fear of them but now I don't fear them I actually embrace them so um anyways I'm reading the alien series so that's what I'm reading right now I'm obsessed I went to Barnes and Noble yesterday and I bought this one <coughs> it's um there's short stories about the xenomorph and the xenomorph is this guy that's his actual name xenomorph that's what he is so there's short stories about him um so I'm gonna read this one after I finish the series because I fucking love it so I'm obsessed so alien is like an obsession right now <laughs> Um, so that's one of my faves. Another favorite is, um, crystals. So <clears throat> you guys probably see it all the time on my videos. Like I usually I'm holding it, but I have Labradorites, pa Labradorite palm stones. Those are favorites. This guy, this one in particular is the one that I took with me to my Reiki certification class. I was actually holding him the whole time. This is my stone. Labradorite is good connection for your psychic abilities. It's good connection to help ground you when you're psychic abilitying. 
when you're connecting with spirit. Um, Labradorite is really good for that. It's, I don't know what it is, you guys. Anytime I go to a crystal shop, if I see Labradorite palm stones and if they're not ridiculously priced, I will buy it. So I have four of them here. I thought I had another. Oh, I did. I used to have another one, but I actually gifted it to somebody. We did a trade. Um, so this one is my favorite. There's just something about him. Oh, I don't know, the energy. So that's like, this is like my reading stone. Um, this one doesn't have much of a flash. He, the flash is actually right here on the top. He was only 10 bucks <coughs> at the crystal store. So I think he was so cheap because he doesn't have much color. But take your Labradorites outside. You'll be surprised at their colors. Like they are gorgeous. So he's pretty, he's, he's cool. He's, he's round, he's flat on the sides. So, um, I like to put him on my third eye when I'm meditating and because it's so flat, he doesn't go anywhere. He just sits there on my forehead. This one is one of the newest ones I bought. This one um, has a lot of green. He has a lot of flash in him. See? Whoa. <laughs> um, I carry this one in my purse usually, and I'll take him out when I'm at work if I'm feeling a little out of it. But I always keep one in my purse. This one is special because I bought this one from Elise. Remember you guys, Elise of Wild Moon Woman? Um, she was selling crystals at one point, and she had made a video about this one because it had a purple flash. Let me see if I could get it purple, if I could show it to you. Come on. Maybe on this side. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's hard to tell with my salt lamp. Hang on. Well, anyways, there's purple in him. There you go. You kind of see it. There you go. It's not the best lighting because it's like outside. <clears throat> but um, she made a video of crystals that she was selling and this was one of them and, and I really loved it because of the purple flash and that was like the specific reason why she bought it to sell was because of the purple flash. You don't see purple flashes in, um, in Labradorites as often. Usually you see the greens, like the green and the blues. So because of that, I bought it, like I snagged it right away from her. And um, this one's special to me because, you know, I really enjoyed Elise, so I like this stone. This one's cool. He usually stays on my bed, on my bedside table. <clears throat> I've, I have meditated with him a few times, but um, I use the other babies more. So I'm Labradorite obsessed. I love it. And the other crystal I've been obsessed with is my, um, my Eye of Shiva. These are creepy. <laughs> they literally look like eyeballs. But um, this one I found at a crystal shop and I was really impressed because he wasn't too expensive. I want to think, I think I spent like $25, $30 on him. Usually they're really expensive, but they're creepy as fuck because they look like eyeballs. <laughs> but they're really good for connecting with third eye and goddess energy. So I've been having this one on my reading table a lot. Um, the other crystals I'm obsessed with are my, this is my Ametrine. Um, Ametrine is, is Amethyst and Citrine, but it's my heart. There's a lot of rainbows in this guy. Uh, you probably can't tell because of the lighting. Again, the lighting's kind of crappy in here. But he has a lot of rainbows, and you can see the Ametrine, like, right in the middle. So, really pretty, really, really, really pretty crystal. <clears throat> My skull, this is my, my clear quartz skull. This is the one that I named after my brother. This crystal, hey buddies. This crystal came into my um, possession the day that he passed away. So the day he passed away, I remember I went to the, the, um, the P.O. box at night and I was checking my mail and he was in there. I had forgotten that I bought him and he was delivered the day my brother passed away. So I named him after him. He's my baby. Um. <clears throat> you guys will probably already see I have this big ass <laughs> clear quartz. Um, this is another favorite. This is my absolute favorite clear quartz. He shows up in a lot of pictures. He's always on my reading table. Luna likes to push him off the table for some reason. She's obsessed with it. Um, so this is my fave. I love him because there's a lot of like inclusions in there. Like there's a lot to look at. You could totally scry with him. Um, and he's always cold, which is a, a trait of clear quartz. It should be cold. Um, another one is my, Amish, this is my amethyst, what do they call these, double terminated? 
crystals. This one has a little bits and pieces of ametrine in it too, but mainly beautiful amethyst. I love amethyst. I have um, red coral, like a piece of red coral here. It reminds me of my bro, so I had him out for Dia de los Muertos. And then I have crackle quartz. <clears throat> so I like using crackle quartz for readings. I don't know why he's always there. Oh, and then I have a spirit candle. This is a candle I bought from, um, I think it's SF Spirits. She did these seance candles. So I have this gorgeous seance candle that I've been lighting for my readings. But she also said to have a nice chunky um, smoky quartz with it because it grounds the spirit energies. So I have this really pretty smoky quartz. I found this at a crystal shop and the girl had it priced at like $80. It was expensive. <laughs> I, I mean, that's expensive to me. But she gave me a discount because she knows me and um, I go there often and I was buying a lot of other crystals so she gave me a discount on him. But I fucking love this one, like it's gorgeous. You could see right through him. He has pieces of like the rock that he came from. Some like other stuff here, but he's beautiful. Oh my God, this is like my favorite. And I love smoky quartz. If, if, if I had to pick my three, no, I can't even, I can't even pick three. Like my four favorite crystals would be Labradorite, Amethyst, Aquamarine, Smoky Quartz, oh, and Clear Quartz. Those are my five, my top five, <laughs> my top five favorite crystals. <coughs> so that's what I've been obsessed with as far as crystals go. As far as decks go, uh, you guys know my fall decks, right? I pulled out a whole bunch of them. I regret pulling out a Rider Waite deck because I have just reinstilled my love for Rider Waite. I try to get away from it. And then of course I pull out a Rider Waite deck. This is the Golden Rider, which I actually bought from Elise <clears throat> when she was selling all of her decks. And she sold this one for 30 bucks. I got a deal because these guys are usually a hundred or more on eBay. So I was like, wow. <laughs> So this is the Golden Rider. I have been so obsessed with this deck. It's actually like nicely worn in. So when you shuffle it, it feels like money. And um, I just love the way that the imagery looks. I love the colors of the deck. But because I pulled out a freaking Rider weight, now I'm obsessed with it again. And I'm gonna force myself to use the other decks that I pulled for November. But of course it's like, I shouldn't have done that because now I wanna just use this one. There's just something about Rider weight. I can't get over it. <clears throat> probably because that's the first deck that I used to learn tarot with so I'm obsessed but um I'm trying to um I'm trying to expand my horizons with tarot and of course I didn't do so well oh the other crystal this is um this is like a, a prayer bead that I purchased <clears throat> off of oh my god I can't remember her name I'll have to link it later Anyways, prayer beads are like, they're like beads that you could hold during meditation. This is Moonstone, Labradorite, and Obsidian. Gorgeous. And then look at the, the bottoms. This is, this has little moon cycles. You can see that. Little moon cycles. And then this is the sun and moon. I love it. So I love moons, as you can tell. So the prayer beads, I, I've been holding these a lot when I meditate. And um, yeah. And last but not least is my new business planner for 2019. So you guys know I use, <clears throat> you've seen this in pictures probably, but I use this big ass one for tarot, my tarot business, Cackling Moon. This is a big one I bought. I bought this at Target. I wanted to go with something smaller see the difference? <laughs> I wanted to go with something smaller because I want to be able to throw this in my bag and I usually use big purses but I want something I can throw in my bag. That big one right there I can't. Usually I just leave them leave at home but I need something I could toss in my bag because I want to use my business planner not just for tarot but I want to use it for my everyday stuff. Um, I'm tired of using two separate planners. I just want to mesh both of them. So I bought this one at Barnes & Noble. I really liked it because it has the galaxy. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is, right? It's so cackling moon. <laughs> and um, 
the I what I really like about my planners when it comes to business planners I have to have a lot of space for each of the day because I write down the name and the the price and what reading people buy so I need space to do that and this is perfect so um, I'm gonna dress it up I ordered a sticker from um, Shining Moon Studio or something like that. Shining Moon something, Shining Tarot, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to link him down below too. But anyways, he creates tarot stickers and they're like vinyl stickers. So I bought um, a hermit and I'm hoping the hermit will fit on here because I want to put them right here. So just to dress up the cover of this. But it's a beautiful little planner and I can't wait to use it for 2019. So I'm really excited over that. And other than that, I think that that's basically it, you guys. So I just wanted to do a quick little favorites video for you. Um, <clears throat> just to get away from just posting nothing but tarot readings. Um, so link me below. Tell me what your favorites are. If you do a favorites video, link me. I want to see. Or um, just leave a comment and tell me what are your favorite things that you're obsessed over. What's your favorite crystal? Um, what's your favorite deck? Blah, 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 blah. And we will talk soon. So thanks you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. And um, we'll catch up and hopefully I'll have something new. A new video for you guys to watch and enjoy. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye loves.